What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I have very great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 13.7 which happens to be the latest version available but also for the 13.6.1, 13.6, 13.5.1 1, and so on. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a program created to fix iOS system errors and of course it can repair a lot of problems with the iPhone, iPad and so on. It can fix iTunes errors, reset your device and enter an exit recovery mode. Definitely check it out. So just a couple of hours ago this developer here posted quote 13.7 is okay hashtag jailbreak now this is a very cryptic message not a lot can be understood from this message unless you take a look at the previous posts this developer made now a couple of weeks ago they posted this quote iOS 13.6.1 iPhone 11 Pro Max which by the way is a 13 the latest devices using custom built kernel read and write primitives completely got rid of the TFP0 method I'll make it public when it's appropriate hashtag jailbreak and of course they have demonstrated in here their jailbreak with their exploit and of course SSH. I talked about this in my previous video but why is it important now? Well they posted that 13.7 is okay for jailbreak which means that the exploit they have in here for 13.6.1 and of course 13.6 and 13.5.1 has been confirmed to work with 13.7 and therefore the currently available iOS 13.7 which is the latest version available right now and the only one signed is definitely jailbreakable with the exploit he has. Now to clarify further the meaning of his message I actually DM'd him and of course asked him whether this is actually a jailbreak, whether he actually managed to achieve a jailbreak on 13.7 and his answer was yes because not much has changed on 13.7 and therefore it's recommended that you stay on 13.7 or lower and do not update the iOS 14 beta which is coming tomorrow. As you probably know the Apple event is scheduled for September 15, 2020 which is actually tomorrow depending on where you are right right now it might be today and this is where Apple will announce the iOS 14 and of course the actual GM the actual final release so once that is out iOS 14 will be available for everybody and iOS 13.7 will no longer be the latest version. Now I would definitely advise you not to update from 13.7 because while 13.7 was deemed okay for jailbreaking, iOS 14 wasn't. And while it's still possible to go back to 13.7 if you update the iOS 14 for a short period of time, I do not recommend you to do that if you want to jailbreak your device because once this exploit is actually released, we will be able to update the uncovered jailbreak and possibly even Odyssey. The depending on what Coolstar decides. And of course that would mean a jailbreak for 13.7, 13.6.1, 13.6 and 13.5.1. So this applies for all versions in here. So definitely do not update tomorrow to iOS 14. It's definitely good, I know it looks okay and I know it has a lot of features that you might actually even look for on a jailbreak. But if you really want to jailbreak your device, iOS 13.7 and 13.6 and 13.6.1 are definitely better at the moment. Now if you pay attention to the tweet posted a couple of weeks ago he said quote I'll make it public when it's appropriate hashtag jailbreak and therefore we know for sure that whatever this vulnerability it will be released when it's appropriate when it's appropriate well basically when it gets patched and since it's compatible with iOS 13.7 we can get it right now because 13.7 is currently the latest version but once iOS 14 successfully replaces iOS 13.7 and 13.7 is no longer signed we might be able to get that vulnerability because as you can see here this developer does intend to release the vulnerability. So it's not a case of yeah of course it was achieved but it will never be released. This will be released as it was announced in here. So definitely stay on 13.7 or lower if you want to jailbreak with Uncover or with Odyssey in the near future. Especially if you have an A12 or A13 device which of course means the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, the iPhone 11, 11 Pro or the iPhone SE 2020. For the rest of the devices the check rain might be updated in the near future even for iOS 14 so there's no problem in there and you are able to jailbreak 13.7 as we speak but if you want uncover or odyssey for your iphone 7 or 8 or 10 and so on definitely stay on 13.7 so thank you for watching i am geos now till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out